sum as a built-in function. Sum, as you know that sum is a built-in function we have. Okay, so now a we have so ten comma twenty comma thirty comma forty comma fifty. Let us consider. So I want to do a sum of what do you say? A sum a. of a. So I will say uh, total is equals to sum of sum a. a. So sum will take a. now if you observe sum will take a interval here. So any interval. Can be calculated. Total sum can be calculated. Not only a list, it can be what is that? It can be a set also. Yes. Be a tuple also. It can be a tuple also. Okay. Now, first of all, we'll run. What is this uh, actually? Print. Okay. Print one one second. Uh, I am getting. Hmm. So now, so now, if you see here, what is it? It is a sum. Sum is a method. So it is sum. We take a interval. Okay. Sum. Hmm. It's trouble. It's trouble. It's not only what is it? Uh, it's about a interval. It can be anything. It can be a, a list of what? Also. Ah, so now it can it can be uh, set also. Set of values also. So if hmm. I do set of values of this, what will be the answer? So now I will say fifty, ten, twenty, thirty. Okay, let us say ten, ten again. Okay, hmm. here it is thirty, forty, fifty. Okay. So now mm -hmm. what we we'll say total uh, set, okay. This I will say total list. List. Mm -hmm. So now I say sum of B. B. So it's like mm -hmm. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 10, 10. So what will be your answer actually? So what is the print of uh, uh, total of uh, total list? And once again, mm -hmm. print of yeah. total set. Total or uh, total set. It will add this two. Yes, yes. So both will be one fifty. Why? Because at the end okay. of the day, set will remove duplicates. Yes, sir. So or set will not give you that particular total sum. Uh, it will sum only the distinct values. It's the behavior of set, right? Yes, sir. So that's the behavior of set. So that's why. Right. So you can uh, uh, like what is there? Take distinct values only. It will take distinct values. Okay, no matter what we use, but it will take a distinct value. Correct. Obviously, right. So now you give, yes, you give any number of duplicates, and at the end of the day, you are giving you, you are giving a distinct values. That's the behavior of. Mm. Yes, sir. Okay. Fine. So moving on to the next one. Moving on to the next one. That is a eval function. What is that? Eval. 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 Okay. eval function. What is this eval function? We'll These do? are the basic functions, huh? Yes. Built in function. Eval. Basic built in functions. We saw, we saw some functions like range. These are other functions. Yes. These are okay. other. So, like eval, like I want to do x plus 100 now. I want to evaluate x plus 100. Okay. So, now you see, it has evaluated the expression. Uh -huh. So now I say okay. x into 100 is evaluating the expression. Uh -huh. Right, sir. Yeah, so the whatever it passes this, whatever it is passed to, whatever it is taken, whatever the expression it has taken, it will pass that expression. Mm. Okay, so gotcha. now what will be the syntax of this? Actually, it will be an expression. Okay, it will be a mm. eval. Expression. R of, uh, evaluate is nothing but expression, expression of code, any code it can be. It will evaluate that mm -hmm. and it will it will print the, the data. Okay. It will print the data. Mm. So now, yes, sir. we have another function like float. What is that? Float. Float. Float is another function. What is this float? Float is an inbuilt function as an int. Int we saw. Int we have, right? Integer, yeah. Int, int we saw already so many times. Now we we need to see float. Okay. Okay. Say float like of one point three. Float of nine. So print of float okay. of nine. What will happen? Print of float of nine. Mm. Okay. Mm. So nine. Nine. Mm. Nine is a point. So now once again, okay. print of float of eight point one nine. 
What is this? Okay. 8.19. 8.19. Okay, so this is one. Yes, sir. Print of, float of. What do you say? The like what I say? I'll give a string. Let us consider. We'll give a string. String. We'll give a string. Some value, negative, negative value, and a string. Okay. So even yeah. I give a string because you you saw in in thousand we'll give a string. It will give you integer, right? Hmm. Mm. So now same way float is also there. Okay. okay. So even with white spaces, I will give. I will give with the white spaces. Like what I say, float of. Um, I will give space. Okay. I will give point hmm. nine. In that I will give minus. Let us consider. Okay. Hmm. So now hmm. what it gives you? It gives you a exact number, whatever it is there. Okay. Hmm. So now what if I Pass a stringer, a string to the what is a um, float x y z. I'll pass a b c anything. A b c a b c. So what will happen? Value error. Could not convert okay. a string float value error again. A value error came. Okay. Okay. No. Apart from this, we have. So it will take only numbers. Correct. No. We will take only numbers. Yes, sir. No, I want to print some values. Like format is another function. What is that? Format. Format. Another built-in function. Another function. Format, format mm. is another built-in function. What is this print? Format will do. Format. Print. Format. Okay. Format will take. What is the format? Convert a form. Convert it to a formatted representation. As controlled by the format specification, the interpretation of format specification will depend on the type of the value of the argument. Okay. However, there is a standard formatting syntax that is used by most built-in types. Okay, the format specification is a mini language. So now, what is that format? A value will take and a, a format specification you need to specify. Okay, what okay. value you want? What value you want? Like I want, I will take. It will take a value and a format. Format you need. Um, format is I want decimal. I want D for decimal. Okay. Okay. So now I'll take format of some numbers. I'll I'll Number. use a floating value. Floating value. One, two, three, four, five, mm. six, comma. What I'll say? I want a float, right? I'll say a float. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'll take another thing. Example. Print format of what I say? Twelve. Okay. I need in a mm. binary format. I need in a binary format. Okay. Mm. So now, what binary means? What? How many? What it will come become? It will become a one one zero zero. Okay. One yes, one. Sir. Binary zero, format. Zero. So one one zero zero. Mm. Clear? Yes, sir. Mm. So you have seen already frozen set, right? Frozen set is also a inbuilt function for us. Yes, sir. It is also immutable. Ah, it is also immutable. Hmm. Fine. Yes, sir. So now again we have any function, any, any. What is that? Any function. Any function. Okay. So I'll take b is equal to some. Okay. Hmm. Some list it is okay. So now I'll say print of any of b. So now what is true. it returns true or true if any item is a iterable? Okay, whether this item, whether this item is a iterable or not, it will tell you. If it is not iterable, if it is not iterable, let us consider. I have taken c is equal to zero. Hmm. So it will give you false type error in the object. It will, it is not a is not a iterable. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the object is not a iterable. Iterable. Okay, in the object is not a iterable. So that's the reason. In the object is not. Iterable. Now, uh, 
what we will say, we will we'll see uh, what we we'll say another function now. ITER iteration function iteration function what is that function iteration function iteration ITER function ITER function what is this ITER function will do again I need to take a list L is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 comma 50 comma some 10 again 10 again let, let us consider okay mm. now what I want to do I want to prepare a Iterator, right? Iterate. Yes, sir. Iteration is there. Iteration example, I'll say. Okay. Iteration example. Mm. ITER of our list. Okay. What mm. is it? It is going to return, return an iterator object. It will return a iterator object. So now iterator. it takes iterable. It takes any iterable only. It will not take any value. Direct, direct a variable, it will not take. It will take only a value. Okay. Okay, it will take only a value. Is it clear? Uh, yes, sir. So now it takes only value. It creates an object which can be iterated one element at a time. Okay, one element. Mm. So now how we will how we'll go further in the uh, list is what we need to see. Okay. Mm. Now what I will say, print of next also is a function we will see. Next will be used along with the iterator. So what is our iterator? Mm -hmm. Iterator ex. So now, if you if I print mm -hmm. here, what will happen? So ten came. Why? Because okay. it's iterator. I'm moving. For first cursor is here. When I say next, it printed ten. Okay. When I say next, it print. It will print twenty. Twenty. Okay. When I say next, it will print uh, thirty. Thirty. Then forty, fifty, ten, ten. Huh. When I say iterator, what will print? It will it will print forty. When mm. I say iterator, what it will print? 50. When mm. I say iterator, what it will print? 10. When I say iterator, mm. what it will print? One more 10. So mm. after completion of this, if I try to print iteration, mm. top iteration error will come. Because once the value is completed, if you try to do okay. what you top iteration. Stop iteration. Are yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now we have another function called map. What is that? Map. Map. What is this map function will do? This is what we are going to see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let us define a function that is nothing but addition. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which will take some value okay. called n. Okay, what it will do? n plus n it will do. And it will return that value. Mm. It is returning mm. n plus n. Okay. Mm. So let us take let us take numbers of tuple 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, 4, comma, right? Tuple means 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, 4, comma, 5. Okay. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Result is equal to what I'll say map of what map is saying it will take a function, function call, and it will take an iterable. Okay. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. takes function call and it, it will take an iterable. So what is our functional call? That is nothing but addition. Addition, okay. addition mm. comma, and iterable. What is your iterable numbers? Is our iterable? Number. So if I print a result, what it will come? This is what we are going to see. Print result. Print result. So now what is the value we are going to get? We are going to get a iterable, right? Iterable. Yeah, okay. mm. we are going to get a iterable. So in order to print it, I print the iterable. I need to convert this into a list or set. Anything I need to convert. Okay. So I'll say mm. result. I'll say list of result. So now you see what happened. It added, it added the previous numbers. So every number mm. is one plus one, two. So, okay. So now it became mm. two plus two, four, four, four plus uh, what do you say uh, like three plus three, six, four plus four, eight, five plus five, ten. Mm. So like that. Ten. 
Okay, now what we will do? We will change. We'll rather than addition, we will do a simple multiplication. Let us consider. What is multiplying? Rather than that, what I will do? I will do power. Okay. So again, it is like power. Q power. Power. Five. Power. Five. Power. Okay. Five. Three one five. So like that. So anything mm -hmm. you can do. But what map we take is a function and a iterable. That function will be applied to the every every value every value in the iterable. Hmm. That functionality will be applied to every value in the iterable. Hmm. Clear? Yes, sir. Hmm. That is the reason. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. We have another function called object. What is that? Object. 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 What is that? Object. Object, object function it returns a empty object. It returns a empty object. Empty object. Okay. Uh, but mm. we will see this later on in uh, when uh, when we are coming in hoops also. But for now, we will see a basic of, of Python uh, object. What is that object? Is like we'll say a Python object. variable. I'll say object. If you see, this is a default function because the color change is there. You can understand. Mm. So, it is a default function, the color change will be observed. So type okay. of Python, I'll say type of Python. Python, Python. is variable to me. So it says class object. Okay. Class object. So now I want to print dir of Python. What are there in the, what are there in Python? Hmm. It is a class. So it has dir, it has greater than, less than, get attribute. Okay. Hmm. Yes, sir. Offset attribute, everything I have. Hmm. This is my default that, uh, function we have. This is a built-in function. And we have one more called care function. So you need to observe very clearly this one. This character. Is care, care function. It will to store a string representing a character. Okay. So okay. Store stores a string hmm. representing a Character. Character. You're getting sleep, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Problem. It's already nine. Huh? You got up very early. <laughs> so care of care of what I'll take any any value like one not eight. One not eight it will take. Mm. Okay. So now what I'll do? Result two is equal to CHR of 104 will take 104. Hmm. So 108 and 102. What are those? 108 is ambulance, 104 is a. <laughs> Not that one. Print what result. What do you see? Result, result 2. Result 2. Okay. Result 2. Yes, sir. So now, we, what we will see? What is happening? So if you observe here, we are getting the values. Okay. So now what we'll do, I'll say result three. Okay. Result three is equal mm. to care of one one two. Mm. So now if I print result of three. Okay. Yes, it is printing. Okay. Mm. Well, I didn't understand, sir. Why showing LHP? Ah. <laughs> no, you, you are not understanding. Yeah. It is giving you yeah. See, it is giving you a ASCII code. ASCII code. So now, if I say a cat of ninety-seven, ninety-seven. Mm. What is that? Mm. Ninety-seven and mm. ninety-eight. Mm. Nine. Nine. Okay, mm. so it's giving you a, a B. B. So now, how system will understand if you say a? So it will convert into ninety-seven, and our ninety-seven will be converted into binary. Acha. Okay, what it will understand at the end of the day, it will understand zeros and ones only. Binary. Right? Binary. Yes, sir. Okay, so that's why if you say a, what is it? If you say ninety-seven, it will give you a. Okay. It, if you give you like you want a character of 97, yes, I have a character for 97. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what is the character for 96? What is the character for 96? Some. This one. Okay. Yes. 
what is the character for 90 cap small capital z okay acha okay okay 6 kya hota hai and minus 26 matlab 64 hota hai 64 mein kya hota hai answer right hai 65 malo right capital so 65 to okay. 90 is our cap, capital a to capital z acha so now what we what what is our point is 96 96 is our small a small a so, small a is 97 is our small a. 97 is mm -hmm. our small a. now what is uh, 97 to plus 26 matlab 123 hoga mm -hmm. 123 hoga right Three. so now yes, i will do print out directly like that we have char of 123 क्या होता है ये 123 नहीं 122 होगा हां शायद या 122 क्या होता है 122 क्या होता है z हां a नो z z z है सॉल्व z ये प्ले पहले प्रिंट हो रहा है उसके बाद ये प्रिंट हो रहा है ना ओके ओके हम क्या करेंगे उसके बाद ये प्रिंट करेंगे तब आएगा क्या हां राइट 97 सेट so like that uh -huh. so every character in the keyboard for every character in the keyboard there is a value you can try this. so you can pass this as a character okay so what is the ascii code ha uh ha -huh. the chain ascii code at key code ha huh? 64 so you can try all uh -huh. the all the all the values you can try. clear yes sir you try it tonight you sit and try everything what is f6 f4 okay what is yes sir so what is the tilde symbol mm. all this so now we have a dir function we saw already dir function again we are going dir function. what is this dir function it is the name of a current local scope it returns the current scope that's it okay so i'll say att attribute of dir okay dir mm. what happens i want to print att att so now what happens it will tell you what all the built in functions but what is the built ins are there the ops are there so all all things are loaded okay it is a if, if the object which is made which which method is called as a name dir this method will be called okay hmm um uh, and and it will return a list of attributes okay it returns a list of, so these are all attributes there. Yeah. Okay, sir. Ah, so yes, now sir. that's it from function, and we will go to another function called the div mode. Div mode. Mode. So ten comma two. It will take two variables. Like what you say. See, that is or that is what a b. It will take. Okay, and it will hmm. give you a tuple, and it will give you say a tuple. Tuple. Ah, so now if you see here, if I run over it, returns the tuple. Okay, it it returns the hmm. tuple. It returns the tuple like x by y. comma x percentage y okay mm -hmm. so now if i print a result i'll store this into a result okay i'll store so this fast. result so print of result result now the ye wala kya hota hai 5 by 2 Five. percentage 10 0 acha theek hai 5 by 2 ha to ye dekho ye kya hota hai 0.5, no, 10 by 10. By 2, no, by 2. Hmm. This is x okay. x by uh, 10 by 2, 10 by 20. 10 by 20. What is this? It gives you integer. 0.5 and not gilaki. Okay, give you a list of integers. Integer. That's it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Now, So the the do more the do more function is able to get a reminder and coefficient of two numbers. So if I do a two okay. number, the reminder and coefficient of two numbers. Hmm. Are you clear? Yes, sir. Hmm. So now we have another function called enumerate. Enumerate. Okay. Enumerate. Enumerate is another function. One comma two comma three. Okay, a is called enumerate. So what is enumerate will give you? Enumerate will take a trouble. Not only a list, it can take any trouble. Okay, 
returns okay. a enumerate object. It will return you a enumerate object. Okay, enumerate object. Like this, like this. Zero comma a of zero. One comma a of one. Two comma a of two. So, a of two. so like that, it will okay. give you the data. Is what Achha. the document is. Right. So okay. now what we will see. First of all, we will see the type yeah. of a. What is the type of a class enumerate? Uh -huh. class class enumerate. We will see the a value now. A, it is not came, it will give you an iterator. So that's why we need to convert into a list. List or tuple we can convert. Okay. Or set also we can convert. So now what happens? 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3. Why? Because by default, the enumerate value will start from 0. So 0 of that particular value. So now I change to 10, 20, 30. 30. 30. Ten twenty thirty. So zero, zero, ten. Yeah, we'll get. Okay. Zero, ten, one twenty. Okay. So now we have another function called uh, dic dic a dictionary. So now you we know the dictionary that is a function, right? Dictionary. Yeah, okay. Dictionary is a function we have. So what it will take? So what it will take? We'll see. So we we'll say a is equal to. Dictionary. So dictionary will it, 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 it no argument is passed to create any dictionary. If the argument is given, a dictionary with the same key value pairs will come. So if an argument one I give, okay. So now if I try to print, it will give you same key and same value. So now it will not take any value once again. Uh, what do you say? A equal to one. A equal to one. So same key and same value will come. Okay. It's like a dictionary. It gives key ah, and value. Normally it is an empty dictionary. What I'm saying, if I give one variable, what it will have? It will give same key and same variable. Same, what is it? Same value. Okay. So rather than that, what I can do, I can give any other values also. It now it will form a pakka dictionary. Acha. Okay. Hmm. There is a another one called Filter. What is that? Filter. Filter. So, filter is an inbuilt function again. So, again, it, the filter is same as kind of map. What was a map? It was taking a function. It was taking a function and it was taking a iterable. Right? Mm. Map. The same filter is also the kind of same. It will take a fit. It will take a function as well as a iterable. So now for that okay. first we need to define a function. What is that function? Okay. What it will take? Let us consider it will take a value. Okay. And it will give you the power. Power of. Power of every value in the given iterable. So now what okay. we we'll do? We will define it. We will define a iterable on the fly. What is that? We'll say that result is equal to what we need to do? Filter we need to call. Filter of. It will take a function and a iterable, right? We have written a function. Mm. We have written a function. We have written a function name, comma, iterable. I need to take. So iterable can be one, comma, four, comma, eight. Anything I'll take. Mm. Anything I'll take. Now I'll take one, comma, four, comma, five. It will be understandable. Eight cube, uh, eight to eight, you will not understand. So we have not printed the result. We will print the result. Again, it will give you a, it will give you a, uh, so uh, what do you say, iterable. So that iterable should be converted into a list. So list. that particular, uh, what do you say, yeah, result of list is equal to 1, comma 4, comma 5. Hmm. 1, comma 4, comma 5. Hmm. Okay. So now map and filter are both are one and same. Maximum. Hmm. Maximum cases, both are one and same. So, so now, if the function, if, so now my point is, if the function is not available, it returns only if the function is not available. What happens? It returns as it is. The name error function is not defined. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so now I say a function can be, the first argument can be none. Here, the function, if it is not there, okay. Mm -hmm. If it is not there, let us consider. Okay. What it will happen? Hmm. 
it will give you it will give you it will not give you the result okay name error so if the function so it should be function ah uh, it should be any function name any function name not only function it can be any function name okay hmm any function name yes uh now we yes, need to take map and red map and filter and red is once again that we'll see later okay okay now we have another function called hash function what is that hash hash function what is this hash function will do hash function so it will give you a result hash of 21 Okay. Mm. What is the hash of twenty one? Result hash of twenty one point three. Result one. Result one. Okay. Now what we will do? We will put result. Result. We will put result one. Result one. Now what it will give you? It will give you a hash value. Hash value. What is this hash? It is the like Python calculate the hash value by using a hash algorithm, hashing algorithm. So you can go and read what is hashing algorithm. Okay, it takes some algorithm. Okay, mm. the hash values are always integers. It is an integer. Okay. So what are the hashable types? All hashable types. What all hashable types are? Boolean. Okay, bool. Okay. Mm. In long. Okay, float. Float. String. Okay, Unicode. Okay, Unicode tuple. Okay, so these are all mm. by default hashable objects. Okay, fine. Now, can I do like string? Yes, string also you can do. Mm. Uh, so now uh, we have another function called min. Min. What is that? Min. Min. So I want to find out a minimum of some what you say small value. Small value I need to take small. Okay, small value in a given list of values. Twenty two point five three point four. Then twenty three thirty five three forty five five sixty seven one twenty eight. So now what is the minimum value here? Automatically it will give you. So first of all, what I will see, what I will type, what I will print, it's a type of type, type of small. Small. What it will be type of small? We'll see. What it can be type of small? Type of small is a int. Why? Because it will give you a very value. It will give you a value. That's it. Right. It will not give you any function. So now, if I say small, small is one twenty eight. One twenty eight. Okay. So now you can't mix yes. both, right? What do you say? Point two is like that. You can't mix. I think. You can mix, okay? You can mix mm -hmm. anything. Are you clear? Yes, sir. And there is some uh, some other function called. There is another function called. There is another function called hex. Hex hexadecimal. It will give you a hexadecimal. 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 Hex, uh, hexadecimal value of one. Okay. What is hexadecimal value of one? What is the hexadecimal value of one? Do you remember? <laughs> no, hexadecimal value of ten. <laughs> no problem. We'll print and see. Huh? Yes, sir. So I want the hexadecimal value of something. Yes, you can print this one. Okay. Result one. This <laughs> zero x one zero x. Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 Yes.
Okay. Collection of elements. Now, if uh, if I want to uh, give only a slice of a, uh, what is the word? Some values. Some values. Let us consider. We will say R is equal to slice of slice of what do you say? Uh, stop or any stop. Any start, any stop, any step. So now, what we say? Start ten. Okay, zero comma okay. Mm. So what we say? Zero comma five comma three. First of all, we'll take second one. Okay. Mm. We'll take second one. Now, if I print, what happens? Print result two. Print R. What it is giving you? Slice zero five. Ah, okay. Now of three, right? So what will say? Fifteen. So now, if you observe here, the function takes a single argument, while the second you see, the second function takes a three argument. Return to slice object. Slice object can be used to get a subsection of the collection. Hmm. Subsection of the collection. Collection. Now we have another function called a sorted. 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 Okay. So now mm. let us consider we have a string called str string called str1. I will say str1 because str is already a function. Str mm. is also a function. So now what I will say? I will say Fatima. Fatima. Mm. So str1 of that one and print. Mm. This one. So what sorted will do? It will return a list of values. A, A, F, I, M, T. Okay. It's not arrangeable. It's it's giving you in a sorted order. Giving you in a sorted okay. Order. Are you clear? Yes, sir. Giving you in a sorted order. Sorted order. Okay. Yes, sir. So you know range function, you you know reverse it also, right? Reverse it is also a value. Okay, reverse is also a function. Now I will say anyway, I have a string here, so that's why I will show you reverse it also. Reverse yeah. of what do you say str1. Str1. So what it will give you? It will give you a I'll say reverse it will give you a iterable. So now then then I should go for a list. List. Whereas sorted will not give you a trouble, this will give you a trouble. Okay. So now it is a reverse of your name. Huh, Fatima. Yes, sir. So type is also an inbuilt function. Zip is also an inbuilt function. You saw zip also, right? Yes, sir. Ah, zip is also an inbuilt function, type is an inbuilt function, tuple is also an inbuilt function, we saw. Okay. Mm. Ah, round also, round is another function. So I have a, let us consider I have values. Okay. Mm. A is equal to round of one, round of one, uh, 10.8. Okay. Mm -hmm. So print mm. eight. It will round off to 11. Okay. 10.4. Okay. 10.4. It will round off to 10. So if it is below 5, below 5, what it will do? It will go to floor. If it is below, uh, above 5, it will go to. Okay. Still. It will be 11. 11. Mm -hmm. 11. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. That's it for yes. today. Yeah, let us close this. See, you, you read about okay, our functions. Huh? Okay. Mm. You read about yes, sir. So we can have. Uh,